everyone and welcome back to today's video. In today's video I'm going to do a desk tour. I am obsessed with stationary desk spaces. My Pinterest is full of pinned desk ideas and storage ideas so I just thought I'd take you through mine. My desk is actually in our living room it is like in the corner of our living room because we don't have enough space anywhere else to put it. So I'm just going to get started. I'm going to start with the desk itself. The desk itself is from Ikea. It is the Mickey desk. It's £40 and it has the drawer there. I will leave it linked down below. So I just start with what's in the drawer. On this side I have my diary, a notebook which I write all my hospital appointment stuff in. This folder here also has like all my hospital letters in and stuff. And then underneath I just have some more notebooks, the Zoella one and some marble ones. Moving across I have a pocket pen for my sister which has the word it's going to focus the word bitch inscribed into it which is a private joke between me and my sister moving along I then have these two plastic containers I have no idea where they're from but inside of them I have a Jo Malone box which you get the 30ml perfume in so in this one I just have ballpoint pens I have a few Kate Spade ones I think this one is a Kate Spade one and then in this one I have more like fine liner type pens and then down there I just have a couple of pencils here I just have some post-it notes and then moving across I have the screen protectors for my Olympus pen my glasses case a cloth which I just use to clean my desk and my screen a pair of headphones and then in here I just have all my memory sticks and a spare card reader just in case my other one breaks and then in here I just have spare batteries moving to the back of the drawer this bag here is a bag of old batteries which you, I think you can like take them to supermarkets and stuff to get rid of them and then this pencil case here just has a bunch of fine liners in it. So that is the drawer. Moving on to on top of the desk, I have a Apple Mac. I think it's the 22 inch one. It's one of the smaller ones. But yeah, that is my Mac. And then my keyboard and mouse. And I just have... This is actually just like a card which says amazing things will happen and I just use that as my mouse mark. And then my Mac actually stands on top of the Alex McQueen Savage Beauty book. I got this for Christmas last year. It's a great coffee table book but we don't have a coffee table so my Mac just stands on it to give it a bit extra height. I then have my Olympus pen cap which I always tend to misplace so I've popped it there. I've got a sticky notepad just with some notes on it. They are the mulberry bags that I want to look for when we go to Bista. My card reader and USB because the USB points on the Mac are in the back so I just find it easier to have one of these. And then this under here is a wire organiser which it just stops my USB moving around and then I have my favourite engagement for engagement shoot for all of me and Glenn just in a little stand. If I move across to the other side I've just got these rose gold pins and bulldog clips and there is some paper clips behind there and then I have this coaster here which is just a it's like a marble coaster but it's got pink in it which is actually a tile sample that's a very good hack if you want marble coasters 
go online and request tile samples and they come like that. I then just have this pot with a C on it for Charlotte obviously which has my Kate Spade pens in and the three coloured fine liners I use the most. Moving across to where the drawers are, they're quite hard to see because they are the black brown colour but I have the five drawer Alex ones, I will go through them in a minute. If I start at the top I have this notice board which has loads of prints and stuff on so if you just start at the top that is our heating thing, we'll just ignore that. I have some pin badges across the top. I've got a C, a Union Jack, which is the cancer research one, a lipstick, because I'm obsessed with lipsticks, a bow which came with a lipstick. That badge there is, if that will focus, is the Jeans for Jeans badge, which is a charity that I think it's once a year you can wear your jeans for school or in your workplace and you donate a pound, a minimum of a pound to do so but Jeans for Jeans is kind of a charity that my sister always supports because I do actually have a jean deformity. There is a difference in my jeans so that is always one and then them two there are two that Glenn brought me back from Ollerton Towers and then the notice board itself, I just have a Lulu Guinness lips postcard, a Polaroid that says side by side or miles apart sisters will always be connected by the heart and my sister put that on my birthday card last year and that is a tattoo that I'm potentially thinking about getting. I then have a postcard that says put your positive pants on, Hogwarts nine and three quarters there, just be you thank you card from my sister this one over here is one that says do something today that your future self will thank you for a dollar which my I have a friend who lives out in America and she kindly I think that was one of my best friends I always said I wanted a dollar so she got me a dollar my heart belongs to the KKE, which is true. A penguin postcard from, I'm pretty sure it's from the London Transport Museum. My sister got me that in London. I'm obsessed with penguins. I then have a picture of me and my sister, a picture of Glenn at the top of, it's like the top of the cliff at Compton Bay, which is our favourite beach on the Isle of Wight. A, another Polaroid from our engagement shoot and that one we're just holding a sign and it says I'm going to be a vine as that will be my surname when we get married. I have another one which matches this one and it just says life is short by the by treats. The one next to it is just a motivational quote that says hey little fighter soon things will be brighter and then if I just move this out of the way for the minute I have one that says always wear your invisible crown little girl with little girls with dreams become women with visions and then the one in the middle that says keep working on your dreams. I'm all about a good motivational quote so as you can see I do have a fair few. Moving down I just have my stack of blogosphere magazines and on top of that I have another quote that says smile with a camera and then my Polaroid camera just lives next to that and then I just have my calendar which is a Caroline Gardner one and this month it says dear credit card I love you till death till debt do us part yours sincerely a shopaholic and then here I just have my phone which is a rose gold iphone 7 I then have a notebook which is just from Muji and then on it I have just a few stickers and stuff this is from the serial colour calf in London if you've never been go it's amazing and then I just have some London ones a, I can't remember what they're called but it's like YouTube related. My name and then on the back I just have some more random stickers and then my notepad which as you can see I was planning out the rest of Vlogtober so that is just that section there. My eye ring is actually from Primark and then I just have a sticker because I have a clear case which is like a create your own case. In the top drawer I just have all of my chalk pens. I did a collaboration with the people who create these. So I will leave that post 
down below. But yeah, I just keep them all in there so I know where they are. In the back of there, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see because these drawers don't come all the way out. But I just have spare post-it notes. I have a couple of notepads, like to-do lists. And then I have another one under here. And then another Joe Malone box. I like to keep my Joe Malone boxes and reuse them. Here I just have all my highlighters and sharpies. Moving forward, I've just got a couple of random bits, a L'Oreal postcard and the Gucci Bloom like tester thing, which smells amazing. I possibly put that on my Christmas list. I've just got another notepad that says I'm busy pretending to work. And then under here, I just have my spare Polaroids. And then this is a draw from an old like draw unit thing. I think it was an FC UK one. And in here, I just have my stickers for my diary, some more stickers for my diary. And then my stickers for my Polaroids. I like to put a sticker on them all. So there's ones that just say, this day is picture perfect. There's hearts and stuff like that. And then I just have some lettered stickers as well. And then in there, I just have pencils and these heart clips, which they used to have all my Polaroids pinned to them on the wall. I might redo that because I did like how it looked. So yeah, they're just in there. The next drawer is full of notebooks. Like I said, I'm a little bit obsessed. So we have I'm Not Weird, I'm a Limited Edition, which is a print that I need to get a photo frame for because all mine are too small. So yeah, I need to get a frame for that. We then just have some like more flimsy notebooks one that says though she be but little she is fierce which is one of my favorite quotes i actually have a quote of that printed in our bedroom and then this tin here it just has loads of motivational quotes and like my charlotte tilby thing so if i want to change up my notes board i can I then have a notes booklet which says now and later. I then have She Designed a Life She Loved which is Zoe's collection from last year. And then under here is a notebook with a unicorn on it and it says shit got real or shit just got real which is what is kind of being used for wedding ideas. Then in the back, I have just a few more random ones. This one says small paper, big ideas. There's a unicorn one. More issues in Vogue, that's from Primark. This one here is a Kate Spade one, which when we book the date for our wedding, this is gonna be my wedding planner, the notebook I take around. I've got a moleskin one, and then a comic relief. The next draw down is my miscellaneous random draw. In the back, I have all my gift tags and stuff for when I post things. This is another Jo Malone box, which just has scissors, blue tack, sellotape, spare pens, hole punches some white tack and then I have another glass of case and these are Glenn's notebooks obviously Glenn is obsessed with like camo stuff and then we have some skull tape this pencil case here is full of felt tips for them like mindful colouring books and then we have some colouring pencils in the back. The next row down, again, is kind of a miscellaneous one. This bit here is just full of spare chargers, pin centuries for Bartleys, because you can't access your account unless you've got one. We've got some playing cards down here, spare portable chargers, Glenn's Beats, and that bag there has all the GoPro stuff in. There's some headphones, and then at the back there's like my passport, some photo paper, and some spare photos. The bottom drawer, is just full of 
like bills and paperwork so I'm not going to go into that. The light is so bad under here that I've had to use my iPhone light. As I said mine is in the corner of a room. The basket on the left is full of blog stuff and props. The magazine rack in the middle is full of like magazines and backgrounds for photos. The box in the middle says always be yourself unless you can be a unicorn then be a unicorn. It has my name on it. That was a Christmas present from Glenn and inside of it I just keep all of my stuff from my limits pen, spare memory cards and electrical stuff. The basket on the right is full of wallpaper samples which I use as backdrops for balls. So that is my desk. Like I said I will leave the desk and the drawers linked below. I hope you enjoyed it. I love watching desk tours. Might be a bit random but I do like them. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you all tomorrow for another video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.